We all have those moments in our life that change everything. For some, it's finding the person you're meant to be with forever. Getting engaged to that person. Tying the knot and marrying your best friend. For some, it might be moving to your first home or even hearing that you're about to become a parent, grandparent, or an uncle or auntie for the first time. As beautiful as these moments are, absolutely nothing compares to this. This moment right here, this changes everything. As we approached our due date, we felt a deeper need to get us and our environment ready for our son. So over the last few months, we doubled down on getting ready in three areas. First and foremost, with things surrounding the baby. This basically involved tasks like arranging our baby's clothes and getting any specific items we may have not gotten on our baby list. Secondly, was with things surrounding us as a couple. This involved everything from getting a joint bank account together, handing over our work, shooting extra content, rearranging our wardrobes and decluttering to getting our birth plan and birth back in order. Lastly, was surrounding our house. We literally needed to get our house in order. So we spent most of this particular day rearranging parts of our home in preparation for the newest member of the family. Because it's just been the two of us, we've not been under any pressure to make drastic changes to our space, but with our son on the way, it felt like a perfect time to start. While I do a lot of work from here, most of our equipment and gear is kept in another room, which will now be the guest room. Our goal for today was to officially make this particular room our studio and office. It's really been long overdue, but we're really excited to start building out our dream studio and workstation here. Wow. So this chair is a placeholder. I'm gonna order a new proper chair. Haven't done that since. So yeah, this is very, very small stuff, but this is the project and here is gonna be more of like a sitting area, really cozy, get some very minimalistic furniture in the future and have a shelf over there. So this room is gonna end up becoming more of like a creative, room i'm gonna bring studio equipment so yeah this room is eventually gonna evolve and you guys will see it and this is where my little boy is gonna come and chill with his daddy as he's working over the last few months we've been staying in our guest room which has now officially become our son's room so with the new boss on the way it was time to pack our bags and relocate back to our room it feels nice to finally be doing this after so long so a lot is happening as you guys can see a lot is happening and for the first time, it actually feels like we are settling down, which is a strange thing to say because we've been moving up and down from the room over there to the master bedroom. So we really haven't settled in this room like that with the actual bed. So the fact that that's going to happen, it's quite nice. Culpit's about to see the changes that have happened in our house. Where do you want to start? Left. This is empty. So we'll move the side table. Yeah. Lamp. Yeah. All right, and then check here. That's cool. Last but not least, your bedroom. Ooh, we finally have a bed in this room. Yeah. We've never, <laughs> we've never had a bed in this room. This is so cool. As the weekend approached, we were scheduled for our routine hospital checkup. What we didn't know was that we'd be seeing our doctor again the next day, but for very different reasons. Good morning. It is about 6 o'clock and it is very, very possible that Kalpa's water just broke. So, it might be time. My baby is about to become a mommy. <laughs> I love you. 
As we made our way to the hospital with our mom, we couldn't help but think of how different our life would be coming back. Things would never be the same. Progressing, so initially I did not have any contractions or anything, but that's starting. And we've had a bloody show, and we've had the water break. So yeah, those are three things happening. And yeah, we're excited. If it weren't for the occasional nurse and doctor visits, you'd think that we were at a hotel and visiting a friend who was making the most of the room service facilities. Every now and then though, Kalpa's eyes told the full story. A lot was happening inside of her, a lot that I couldn't relate to. What she craved for more than anything in this moment was for me to just be with her on the bed and give her some back rubs. It really helped in keeping her calm. Soon, she was walking around doing her breathing exercises while listening to a worship playlist in the background to keep her going. It is 10 minutes to 10 o'clock and we are getting closer and closer. Let's find out how she's doing. How are you? I'm good. That's that uh, sound that you're hearing is our baby's heartbeat. He has a lot to say. He has a lot to say. <laughs> he keeps moving so it changes the rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, so currently we have these cables to monitor the baby's heartbeat and my contractions as well, which haven't been that regular. Um, so I've been induced, I've taken my first dose of induction. So let's see what happens. It's, a, it's around 10, yeah. so that's the first dose. I'll get my second dose at midnight. So that should speed things. Um, yeah. It was a long night, but one that brought us closer to the goal. The next day, Kalpa reached the right dilation needed for pushing and before we knew it, we were in the delivery room, moments away from the biggest life-changing event in our life so far, parenthood. This moment wasn't like anything I've ever experienced. Watching our son start his life in front of our eyes is nothing short of a miracle and a blessing. Can you guys believe it? Kalpa and Tommy Day are parents now. Watching an exhausted Kalpa sleep with our son right beside her was a humbling moment. Still trying to process all that unfolded, I realized here that we really just started a family. We're now a squad of three. The next day, our family came to visit and we all gathered around to see the newest member of our family. Grandpa took a moment to pray for his grandson, and we also had a moment to take pictures of the three generations. We weren't yet cleared to leave, so we officially had one more night to go. With our baby boy fast asleep, Kalp and I decided to have a much needed moment for ourselves. We ordered some of her favorite pasta and had our first date night as parents. Doing this with our son sleeping beside us made this day particularly special. It was also a great moment to just pause and reflect on the events of the last few days. Before we know it, it's finally time to go home. As we finalized things in the hospital and finally made our way out, it really began to sink in that we're actually parents. We came in here as a unit of two, and now, well, we're a family of three. As we arrived home, our amazing family prepared a welcome for us. Our sister cooked up a storm and everyone came to witness us bringing our son into his home for the first time. As our pregnancy progressed, we thought we had prepared for everything. But as we brought our son into our home for the first time, we realized that the most important thing we needed but didn't even plan for was the support of our family, both physically and remotely. Their love, encouragement and presence made all the difference during this life-changing event. It's a reminder that no matter how much we try to prepare for life's biggest moments, 
it's the people we surround ourselves with that truly make it special. And it really doesn't get any better than family. We started off as Kalpa and Tommy Day, but our newest member of the family, Aryan Akinshino Akinyemi, has changed the trajectory of our life forever. We're so blessed to have him in our life and can't wait to see what this new season of our life holds. Until next time, see you guys soon.